In this video, I'm going to show you how I capture featured snippet rankings to rank immediately at the top of page one for keywords you already rank pretty well for. Recently, I did an SEO audit for Deathwish Coffee, so I'll use them as an example. And what I do is I go into SEMrush and go into organic research, put the domain in, and press search. And on this page, you have a, a bunch of information and data points you can look at in terms of keywords and traffic and things like that. But what I do is I scroll down to view all keywords, click on that button, and then click on SERP features. And SERP features on SERP, scroll down to featured snippet, click on that. And then this shows all keywords that this domain ranks for that contain a featured snippet. Now, there's one other filter I like to do here. If you filter by position, and you can do a filter for position two through five, and you can do two through two, three, or position two. The point here is to find featured snippets that you already rank toward the top of page one for that you can capture more easily. You can start with anything that you are on page one for, because if you're already on page one, you have the possibility and the chance to capture the featured snippet ranking. So in this case here, you can, again, start with this and do a filter here by search volume per month. And then you have a list of keywords you can look through to work to capture featured snippets here. I wanted to, for this example, look at keywords that talk about using coffee to prevent mosquitoes. For filtering here, we'd just be filtered by keyword and do mosquito up here. Then we'll find any keyword opportunity we have for mosquito. And you can see here, there's actually 66 keywords that this site is in position two through five for. So potentially capturing the featured snippet for one of these could mean we would capture the featured snippet for multiple searches here. And the keyword I want to look at is does burning coffee keep mosquitoes away? So the first step I would do is actually search for that in Google to see what the search result looks like and check who's actually ranking for that key phrase. So we do have, if we do a search for does burning coffee keep mosquitoes away, there's the AI overview, which side note, I've seen cases where working to capture the featured snippet also gets you into the generative AI section up here as a reference, but that's not the, not what we're focusing on here. So do a search here and we see we have MR, mrbit.biz as the featured snippet. And then you scroll down just to confirm. And here's the article for Deathwish Coffee. Can coffee grounds prevent pests? So next step I do is I look at the Mr. Mosquito Control page here just to see what, what their page looks like and do some research to determine what we need to do better. And I'll get to another way to figure this out as well. So if I do an inspect here, looks like these are paragraph sections. This is an H2 and how I'm finding this out on the right side, you can see pretty small font. The over here, this section here, you can see H2. So this tells me this is an H2 heading. And so is this one here. So they have basically just H2 headings separating each section of content and they have an H1 at the top, safe and effective tips for using coffee grounds as mosquito control. So then we go to our page and look at the content here. Can coffee grounds prevent pests? And then here it says burn coffee grounds to prevent mosquitoes. And let me just confirm that this is an H2 as well. This is an H2, this is an H1. So just looking at the structure and how headings are set up is one way to get an idea as to what Google is ranking for this feature snippet. So the other way to get some additional confirmation as to how this page is structured and how it's set up is going into chat GPT and using a prompt like this. This is the prompt I've been using. So the prompt is this website is ranking for a featured snippet. And I copy in the, the competitor website, coffee grounds. The keyword searched is and then type the keyword in here. Does burning coffee keep mosquitoes away? My URL is put the URL for your specific page you want to rank for. And then I say, Tell me the type of featured snippet that is ranking and what I need to do on my page to optimize it better to work to capture that featured snippet ranking. So I run that prompt and it says the featured snippet is on the Mr. 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 Mosquito Control page is a paragraph type. It explains that burning coffee grounds repels mosquitoes by producing a strong aroma that mosquitoes dislike. Recommendations to optimize your page. Add a clear, concise paragraph. Place a concise paragraph at the beginning of your post. Use relevant headers. Use headers like how burning coffee repels mosquitoes and steps to use coffee grounds for mosquito control. Provide detailed steps. Include a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to use and burn coffee grounds effectively. Highlight key points. Emphasize the strong aroma that, and its effect on mosquitoes. And then here's an example paragraph it gives you that you could use. And then it says, by incorporating these elements, let me scroll this up. By incorporating these elements, you can enhance your chances of capturing the featured snippet ranking for the keyword does burning coffee ground. 
does burning coffee keep this? So you want to make sure that you are being concise. That's one of the big keys, especially with featured snippets, because as you can see here, the question is, does burning coffee keep mosquitoes away? And it highlights here what the, the most important part of this is. And Google is highlighting what they view, they being the algorithm, to be the most important part of this page for answering that question. The most effective way to use coffee grounds for mosquito control is by burning them as it creates a strong aroma. Now to take this one step further, you can go back to the feature snippet rankings here and do this same search for these other ones and make sure that you are working to capture additional feature snippets for the same keyword or phrase on your same page. And some of these may require a list type, which is where adding in a step-by-step -step guide or something like that could help you rank for some of these other keywords here as well on the same page again. Now, after you make those changes on your page, the fastest way to get Google to update the page would be to re-index it or resubmit it for indexing in Search Console. And you can check this video out I did about how to index new blog posts in Google. Essentially what you do is go into Search Console, add in, take your URL, paste it in there and request indexing again. And then Google will recrawl and re-index re or update your page in the index. And you can check as, as soon as that's done, check whether or not or how many new feature snippet rankings you captured based on the updates on your page. And then you would just continue running through this, take the filter off for Mosquito, and continue going through as many of these as you want to work to capture feature snippets to get additional rankings and additional traffic. And again, you can run this filter and just start with everything you're ranking position two for, which gives you 110 keyword opportunities, and then do it for number three, number four, number five, number six, and so on. And just like I said, continue working through this process to capture additional feature snippets, get additional traffic, and additional rankings, and then optimize those pages better and use some of that traffic value that you're getting from Google to funnel visitors to your products, collections, other pages on your site. And that's how I go through the process of finding and capturing featured snippets to rank immediately in Google. If you got some value from this video, please subscribe to my channel. I post content like this regularly, and my goal is to continue to provide value for you. So hopefully you got some value and I'll see you in the next one.